Okay, so we're back in Code Warrior and we'll load up the previous project, the Hello World LED Blink that we did last time. And we'll go straight into Device initial Initialization and the SCI module. Uh, for the board rate, we want to change this to 9600. And I know it's going to be a 20 something to get 9600. 25, 26. Try 27, that's a bit too much, so back to 26. And so 9615.385, that's close enough to 9600 for the for the PC to understand our transmissions and for us to uh, understand the PC's transmissions uh, to the microcontroller. The data format uh, is 8 bits, parity is none. don't have to do anything with the pins on other microcontrollers you can uh, redirect uh, which RX or TX pin if there's uh, more than one UART on the board and we won't turn on the TX interrupt because that will cause us problems if we turn that on during initialization uh, we'll enable both the receiver and the transmitter enable the receive interrupt as well and, uh, Hey, we'll even enable all the error interrupts except for parity, we're not using that anyway and we'll generate that code that'll bring up the MCU init file here's all our SCI module initialization stuff and uh, as before it's added the SCI uh, TX interrupt uh, vector code space RX vector code space and the error interrupt vector code space and those have been added into the interrupt vector table okay so now we have to get it to do something we'll go into main and up here we'll do a um, const unsign char when you do a constant string uh, this will automatically uh, be null terminated when it gets compiled and of course that needs to be an array alright let's just have a quick look at the name of the uh, status and control registers for the serial control register 2 okay this is one of the ones that I want to grab just the names of um, uh, the transmit control interrupts and I'm just gonna paste them there for the moment for the transmit interrupt uh, we're just going to make a function uh, TX interrupt handler and that'll get called and we're going to put that uh, declarations go up here take that and put it in our main we'll put in a flag okay and in the forever loop we'll say uh, if If you see TX start flag uh, equals zero, then you see TX start flag equals one, but before that we will say ID. Okay, so that's just the name of the data register. Initialize a UC text 
buffer index. So to begin with, if we haven't started sending anything, we'll uh, set the buffer index to zero and send the character at uh, index zero, which is going to be H. And we'll set the uh, we have started transmitting flag uh, okay. to one. And we'll enable the interrupt. And once that interrupt's been enabled, every time a character gets transmitted, uh, at the end of the transmission of every byte, it'll come into the, uh, the interrupt handler. Uh, so one of the first things we have to do is read the status and control register. So that's just a, a dummy read of that register. And then we will increment the uh, transmit buffer. And then we'll, we'll check it to see if this character is a null character or not. So if it's null, we'll make sure that the interrupt has been disabled. We'll also set that flag to zero and, and that will cause uh, this here in the main loop to repeat the whole process again. Uh, but if we haven't finished yet we're just going to send out the next character. And that seems to have compiled OK. OK, now if we debug and reset program. and go and we'll flick over to hyper terminal and there we go hello world hello world hello world and you can see I'll just stop it for a second uh, but you can see that's word wrapping around to the other side so that's uh, transmission